and now guys we are done so this is the pc over here I'll let me give an overview hey what's up guys it's me vb so in today's video i'll be building my own pc in pc building simulator so yeah let's get into the video so now i'm going to start off uh, by clicking on the free build mode here you can just build whatever you want whatever uh, pc with different components which you wish and yeah so first let's start off the uh, uh, case so i have a ant eyes 300 tg case but I, i couldn't find the exact model in this game so uh, i just want to uh, i just went with a similar one so this is the antec dark avenger da601 and yeah so let's first start off by installing the motherboard so let's remove the side panels from the pc and guys if you new to the channel hit the subscribe button and like this video and if you're interested in uh, learning how to build a how to build a pc just uh, stick to the video stick to the until the end of the video even though i'm not too experienced by building with the building pcs you might learn something from this so now i want to go with the msi b450 motherboard which i have in my pc so i'm going to go with the uh, b tomahawk one so yeah, this is how it looks so while installing a motherboard by the way this is a game so yeah. Okay, we have just successfully installed our motherboard. Now let's go with the RAM sticks. Which in my PC I have a 16 GB dual channel RAM with a frequency of 3000 mhz. So uh, I'm gonna just uh, search 3000 and I'm gonna get these. So I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna go with the Adata XPG Flame 8 GB 3000 mhz. I'm just gonna install it over here. So by the way, guys. Uh, while choosing the dual channel ram make sure you have the you choose the same uh, ram stick with the same frequency or it's not going to work out so right now in this case i have 3000 mhz for both of these both should be same and yeah now we have successfully installed our dual channel ram sticks now let's go with the processor or cpu so on my pc i have a ryzen 5 3600 So yeah guys and by the way while choosing the motherboard make sure uh, you have the same socket as the processor in which in this case we have AM4 socket or else the if the motherboard and the uh, CPU doesn't have the same uh, socket it's it's not going to fit in so make sure you have that and after you install the CPU make sure you apply some thermal paste to it and now let's close the CPU handle after this uh, I was thinking of installing the uh, CPU cooling on top of the cpu but uh, let's go with the power supply so on my pc i have a corsair uh, cx650 so let me search that over here i'm pretty sure you don't have the cx uh, model so i'm just going to go with something similar which is the corsair tx650m and now we are done Now let's go with the uh, storage, uh, HDD and uh, SSD. So we're going to open the drive bay, and on my PC I have a one TB HDD. I'm just I'm I'm going I'm going to go with the Seagate Barracuda one TB uh, HDD. And let me close the uh, drive bay, and now let's install the uh, SSD, which is two forty GB. Let's go to gigabyte one, and let me install the SSD, and let's close the drive bay. Now we have installed all the storage uh, units. Let's go with the uh, graphics card, which is one of the main things in my in the PC. So let me open the PCI lock and uh, remove the PCI cover too. So I think this should be enough. Uh, graphics card and in my PC, I do have a. RTX 2060 Super OC by the way OC edition 
So uh, then I'm gonna go with the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 2060 Super WinForce OC 8GB. Or oh, actually, uh, let's go with the Ventus one. I do have Ventus. So let's go with this. Let me insert over here. And now we have successfully installed our graphics card. Now, right now, I'm pretty sure we just have to add the cables and the, uh, we, and uh, in, add the CPU cooling. So let's add the CPU cool, cooling first. So I, I think I have in my PC. I'm not sure with the CPU cooling. I think the stock one. So I'm just going with the random thing. I'm gonna go with the Arctic Freezer 33TR. I'm just gonna install it over here. And now, right now we just need to add the cables. So mine says all black. I'm pretty sure. So I'm just gonna go with all black cables. Um, yep. Let's go with this one. So now we just have to add all the cables together. So many cables over here. Now we are, uh, we are uh, connecting our graphics card to our power supply and uh, CPU going to our motherboard. And uh, yeah. Yep. And now we are done with all the cables. We just have to put back our side panels and the power supply i mean sorry P pci lock in the back over here and now this panel over here and now we're done guys this is a pc and now we need to install windows 10 or os in this case, in the game, we don't have Windows 10. It's called Omega. So to install that, it's actually simple in game, but it's not uh, too simple in real life. So we, we, all we need to do is just add the USB drive in this game and uh, connect the cables to our PC, like uh, the keyboard and mouse and the uh, monitor. And we should be good. Yes, and now we can successfully on the PC. And now it's installing the operating system. And now guys, we are done. So this is the PC over here. Let me give an overview. So this is how it looks guys. We are done. We are built a rebuilt our own PC in this game. So yeah guys, if you guys enjoyed this video and if you find, if you found this helpful, so make sure to share this video and like this video guys and uh, I'll meet you guys in the next video slash stream and peace out.